Greetings fellow citizens! In this video I want to show you the Drake paints. We get two for the Cutlass, Coal Fire Paint and Mist Walker Paint, and two for Dragonfly, Coal Fire and Mist Walker Paint as well. And if you buy a package you get a discount. I will also show you last year's best in show skin for the Cutlass, which was very nice and was free. And I also want to show you last October's ghoulish colors for the Cutlass, which was only $5 and looks quite nice. I am already saying my goodbye. I hope you find this interesting. Auf Wiedersehen!
So it, essentially the process kind of begins with we, we want to get these pre-configured schemes done. So you could, for example, go off and go, oh, you know what, I want, I want a NASA themed kind of skin or I want, you know, a District 9 themed skin or I want a, you know, a, a pink Hello Kitty themed skin. And then essentially, you know, we, we as artists create what well, basically the material files. They're tiny in memory. They're like, they're so small that we can have like hundreds of them if we want to, um, because they're all calling the same textures. That's, that's what's done under the hood, okay? Once those material files are created and obviously named accordingly and sanity check that the emblem is called emblem and the submaterial ID is called submaterial ID one, two, and three, they have to be the same names. That's then handed to tech design to then kind of set that up with the loadout that they're, they're putting together for that shit. Further forward, um, we want these, low, these, these kind of paint configurations to become hex codes. So if you're in, if you're in like a, you know, a, a guild of you know, 20 players and, and you know, the, the, the clan leader said, all right, this is our paint scheme, there's going to be no like, guessing work. Like you get the hex code, you put it in there, and it automatically will say, oh, you know what? You know, our, our, we've got matte black against yellow against pink, something crazy. And, and at every ship in your fleet, you can put that hex code on and it will automatically go into that color configuration. So there's there's a lot of kind of cool things. And you know, as artists, we do this stuff all day, every day. And we were just like, you know, well, why wouldn't we give the end user this functionality? So that's that's the that's that's the overall plan. Um, there is a lot of there is a lot of kind of very things you have to be careful with when you're authoring the shaders for this stuff. So it can accommodate these options. Um, but we're, we're on top of that and that's that's kind of yeah, it's good. That's what we're doing on, on the initial kind of burst of ships right now. I think it's really cool and it's really amazing to see like today, I, I just kind of caught up with the guys and looked at what we're working on for that stuff. And there's like a fleet of 50 ships, all with different skins, all with different loadouts. And it, and it injects color into the game. You can have your kind of personal things going on, which is kind of cool. If I was going to pick one to fly and customize myself, I've always got a sweet spot for the Avenger. If it was me, um, with it, I'd probably go for a, a, a dirty chrome kind of finish. The shape is just kind of so kind of primitive to get some kind of highly reflective material on it. I think it just looks super cool in space. So that's, 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 that's what I would go for. Hey, you are still here. You might want to join me on Twitter. My Twitter account is Camaral underscore FFM and this is the city I live in, Frankfurt am Main. On Twitter I post about my videos and sometimes just some funny little videos. Action! Would be nice if you would join me on Twitter.